Hey guys, how's it going? I'm down here at Berry Chiswick. Today is both a sad day and a good day. Now, it's a sad day because I've just dropped off my M135i and that's probably the last time I'll see it, but it's a good day because I'm picking up this lovely John Cooper Works behind me. Now, I've got this for about a week or so. I love little sporty minis, as most of you know, and obviously the John Cooper Works is the top of the range and the most fun out of all of them. So, interested to see what it's like to sort of live with uh, and run on a daily basis. Fits in perfectly because I'm off to Oz in about 10 days time. But we'll talk more about that once we get inside the car. I'm just going to go and have a quick look around the Mini showroom and also the BMW showroom because rumour has it there might be a GTS in there. How's it going? Welcome to the 2018 Mini John Cooper Works. Now, as some of you might know, I've just handed back a 2017 Clubman SD that I had for three months, did about 2,000 miles in. Brilliant car, really good. Good car for its purpose. It was a bigger Mini, so a bit heavier. It was a diesel, so it was efficient. It still had excitement because essentially, you know, it had some of the Mini DNA in it, but to me, an exciting Mini or a proper Mini is anything that's in the Cooper sort of size, you know, the smaller size. And when I say smaller size, they're a hell of a lot bigger than the Minis of old, but they're still pretty compact. Now this one is the John Cooper Works, so it's the full fat version. We've got 230 horsepower and that's all going through the front wheels so 0 to 60 times not ridiculous so don't never look at one of these and see the 0 to 60 time which i think is low sixes because that's about all you can achieve really in a front wheel drive car it's once you get off the line and the acceleration once you're rolling you put your foot down it just takes off but it's not about straight line pace in these cars it's about how nimble they are how much fun they are they're just a little riot all the time and I've actually got this car for about a week. Now, I've got it for a number of reasons. I've got it, number one, because I've just handed my M135 back. Number two, my M140 is not gonna be ready in the next week or so. And then just after that, in about 10 days time, I head off to Australia. So I've got my new seven series, but I haven't got a daily. So Tony very kindly sorted this out, or the Berry Mini Group sorted this car out for me. Um, the other reason I've got it is because they are doing some ridiculous deals on these at the moment and I'm not going to be a cheesy salesman and I don't want my channel to turn into, you know, just sales and deals but honestly, check below because these things, £299 deposit and £299 a month for, you know, what is essentially the quickest Mini that's on sale today. To me that is very, very good value. And, uh, and it's a slightly cheaper alternative to your M-Lite. And also these kind of fill a slightly different space to the M-Lites, I think. They're not as practical, they're not as refined, but if anything, on little journeys, they're more fun. And on an A and B road, they're pretty rapid. Now I haven't spent much time in this very new one, so I can't really compare it too much with the M-Lites or with anything. And I'm gonna do obviously a full road test on this soon. But my first impressions of the first few miles are, it's just brilliant, it is. It's, it's really, I'm suffering from man flu at the moment, but I've been smiling the whole time because it's just, it's just a little right. Look, we're going through a tunnel now. Let's see if we can get some pops and bags. 
couple of pox and bangs. Um, I'm not sure how to play around with all the settings yet. I know I've got it in sport at the moment. And that actually gives me a little blip on the downshift. So look, I'll go from third to second. There you go. I don't know if you heard that, but that wasn't that wasn't me heel and towing. Hopefully I can turn that off, but I know in other modes it that doesn't happen. So but yeah, first impressions are really good. Now this car has actually got a couple of options over the base deal price car, um, and that includes the 18 inch wheels. I'm not the biggest fan of the way these 18 inch optional wheels look. Um, I think they're slightly ugly, the wheels themselves. Um, and personally, I would stick with the 17s for a couple of reasons. Number one, they give a better ride. Probably actually give you a better traction in the UK because the tyre is a bit more pliant so through really choppy corners it probably softens it out a bit um, but number two I just think they're yeah they're a better looking wheel the 17 and I know that's that's kind of very controversial and maybe they then look a bit too small maybe they're a better design but they look anyway um, but you can of course upgrade to the bigger wheel which I'm on at the moment um, and I'm sure there are other wheel options out there. I think you can get the, the 17s and the silvers and the blacks and whatever, but I'm not like, I'm not a guru when it comes to optioning minis. So you need to go on online and check out, um, check out what options there are available and how you can spec these things. But as a, as a fun piece of kit, I mean the seats, you know, uh, initial impressions are seats are awesome, loads of power, pops and bangs from the exhaust. Um, it's a nice place to sit. It's really, Minis, we all know minis are growing on the outside as I've just talked about, but also on the inside, you know, I'm six foot three and I fit very comfortably in here. I don't feel at all cramped or claustrophobic. There's not loads of room behind me. You know, you could get two smaller adults in there, definitely two sort of teenagers or, or children, um, but don't think of this as a four seater. It's minis are more, well, the Coopers are more of a two plus two, if I'm being totally honest, but for two people, super comfortable in the front. But yeah, super excited. Um, I've got lots of things planned, so I'll just run through a few of those with you. Obviously, I've just picked up my lovely 7 Series for work. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a chauffeur, so I know there's quite a few people asking me on my channel when I picked up the 7, what do you do? And uh, I think some people are under the impression that I could actually afford to go out and buy a 7 Series as uh, uh, another car of mine, but I certainly can't. That's my business. And, uh, and that, that's what I do for a living. That's what actually earns me some money because YouTube really doesn't, you know. I'm lucky to earn, still to this day, I'm lucky to earn 250 quid a month out of YouTube. I'm not, you know, I'm not a big, big YouTuber like some of the boys and girls are. Um, so yeah, so that's the seven, really excited about that. That's tucked away in my garage at home at the moment. Um, next week, I am gonna be road testing this properly might take it away on a little road trip and I'm actually going to the Audi RS4 launch um, or the UK media launch I think they call it it's like a soft launch because I missed out on the proper one um, that was in Spain recently so that'll be fun I'm excited about driving the, uh, the new RS4 looks good um, not sure what I'm going to think about the engine I'm sure it's 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 very effective and very efficient compared to the old V8 but there's no doubting I'm going to miss that V8 grumble uh, then, not long after that, I'm off to Australia, and I'm off to Australia for about three weeks. I'm going over there to work with an Australian um, brand, YouTube channel, um, online sort of car place, if you like, um, one of the biggest in Australia, and I'm super excited about that. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, it'd be great to great to review cars in a really hot climate in the middle of their summer and uh, it'd be awesome to, to review cars with other car people that I've never met before and uh, and yeah and try some different cars maybe that we don't get over here in the UK so so that's awesome uh, so please make sure you follow my adventures over there I'll link um, their channel etc below in the description uh, and then and then I get back yeah middle of February I'm there for about three weeks get back middle of February and I'm straight into London Fashion Week and then on the 1st of March it might be a midnight handover. I'm picking up my Mo Motec Edition M140i, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I'm glad that I'm waiting to the 1st of March now, so it'll be an 18 plate. Not that that makes much difference. And I'm actually heading into town now to meet up with Petrolped, 
who is a YouTuber that I've followed for a long time now, about a year and a half. And uh, he also follows my channel. We've talked to each other for the last year or so about meeting up and finally we've got around to it. So meeting up with him and meeting up with another YouTuber who is a good friend of Pete's, uh, a guy, well, his channel is called Tire Reviews and his name's Jonathan. So we are, yeah, we're sitting down and we're gonna do some brainstorming, see if we can come up with some ideas and videos to shoot down the line. So fingers crossed for that, it will, uh, it will pull through. And I'll put a link to both of their channels below because honestly, both of their channels are really good fun and uh, genuine content, none of this clickbait shit. So <laughs> you know how much I hate the clickbait stuff. So yeah, check that out and uh, give those guys a follow or subscribe on their YouTube channel. And that's about it really. I'm gonna wrap this collection loan car video up, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I feel so fortunate, I really do, that. I've been getting my hands on lots of cars recently and I kind of almost take it for granted but you know I can't thank people like Tony and the Berry Group for giving me so many cars to play with and shoot videos on and uh, yes it does work both ways um, of course it does but just being able to sort of you know jump in an awesome little hot hatch like this um, and know that I've got it for a week it's uh, yeah I'm really excited about it it's really 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 good of them and um, yeah, I'm super, super chuffed, even though I have got man flu and my eyes feel like they're about to fall out their sockets because I'm just quite run down. Um, cool. I will speak to you guys very soon. Take it easy.